All right, so this is gonna be a really short video, just an overview of how to set up custom fonts and colors and kind of get a better understanding of how like the Tailwind config works. I'm using the T3 stack, which comes kind of set up with Tailwind if you want it to. And this is all used to build out this little newsletter application that I'm working on. So I have a custom font here, and I also have some custom colors defined so that anywhere in the page or anywhere in my application, I can just go ahead and say like, I want to use this blue or I want to use this, this dark color here. So let's first of all look at the colors. How did I actually achieve that? It's actually pretty easy in Tailwind. Um, you go to your Tailwind config and inside your theme, you can basically just put an extend block and then say, I want to extend the colors that I have available to me. And you can kind of namespace it with whatever you want. So I put WDC here, um, but you could put, you know, app or whatever, or even just say whatever. And then once you namespace it, you have access to that color, uh, to that namespace and the colors that you define, right? So I can say whatever.dark, whatever.light, whatever.primary. And let me just show you that real quick. If I add like another one called like secondary, let's just make it pink and let's see what happens here. So if I add that in, I should be able to go to any page of my application now. And I do have the Tailwind IntelliSense set up, so it should tell me if I'm using an incorrect color. But let's just make all the text here pink. So if I go here and just say text hyphen, and then say WDC, actually it's called whatever. Let's just say whatever. Notice that all my colors pop up in my little IntelliSense. I'm gonna go ahead and click secondary, save the page. And now notice that we get back that pink color. Now the background color changed because obviously I changed the namespace. Let's set that back. And let's go back here and make the WDC. And that's how you can basically set up a custom color palette for your application. It's really nice. Um, obviously you can do the same thing with like CSS variables. So for the custom fonts, how did I do that? Well, I basically read the docs and they kind of walked me through. I think Next also has docs about this. Um, so this is more specific to Next and not necessarily Next, um, not necessarily Tailwind. But what you have to do is you import from next slash font slash Google, you can import whatever font that you want. So you could do instead of Sophia Sans, you could potentially say, uh, I don't even know any of these off the top of my head, like Cairo or something. Um, let me just go back to Sophia Sans though. And you make a variable here and you can basically name it whatever you want. And you need to pass in hyphen hyphen, whatever the font name you want to use. So it's kind of confusing to understand like how this works, but basically you set up this, you set up this next font variable, and then down in your main, you can just put it here. So I can say Sophia dot variable, and that'll kind of give you access to use the font throughout your application. Now there was another configuration you have to set up, and that is basically here. You have to bring in a font family, and inside this Tailwind config, you have to extend your font families. And I said sans. And if I instead, if I said like WDC, so I'll show you how this works. So basically you set whatever namespace you want for your font family and you tell it to use that font Sophia that you defined over here in the app. By the way, the app is something you have to create if you don't already have it. So you kind of create it and then you just make like a really uh, blank, blank component that wraps your main component. But you'll see here, it's going to basically use this font and then it falls back on, I believe, Sans if that one doesn't seem to work. So let's just save the page and see what happens because I do believe this was working before, but now I changed it. So let's hover over the font and let's go to the computer real quick and let's see what font family we're using. I'll say font family. And notice that the Sophia thing is nowhere here. Okay, so we're not using the Sophia font. Take a good look here. This one is going to look a little bit different. Now, the reason this is broken now, because remember in the Tailwind config, we defined WDC as our namespace. So I have to go back here instead of saying font sans. I'll say font WDC. And now if I go back to my app, we got the font going. Okay, so it's a little bit, um, you know, got to configure some stuff, but once you got to configure, it works pretty good. And the fonts will automatically download from Google, which is pretty nice. Um, so that's how you can set up custom colors or custom fonts in your application if you're using Next and Tailwind. And hopefully this was a quick little overview for anyone who might be using the T3 stack or just using Tailwind and Next as well. All right, and just to kind of show you one more time, like, Let's just try changing the font to something else. Like let's go here and let's try importing something else. Like let's just try changing the Cairo and see what happens. Some fonts don't work for whatever reason. Like you'd have to change um, some weights and whatnot. But now if you go, we have a Cairo font. Okay, so that's how you can quickly change out fonts and whatever. 
uh, just by basically importing a different font name and using it there. So technically, if I want to make this more abstract, I could say like main font like that. Um, maybe I could do this font main font, and then I can go over here and just make it more generic so that there's only one place I have to switch out my fonts. Yeah, so anyway, if you guys enjoyed watching this little walkthrough, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, whatever. And also feel free to join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers and just ask questions. Uh, if you have any more things that you want me to maybe cover in my videos, leave a comment below. And like always, have a good day and happy coding.